Yeah. Next, next, next to the grog stone. Oh. The grog stone's right there? It's from the middle. That's that thing right there. Huh. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> of course I did. All right. And I'm going to bring, is this stupid? To bring Trinket up into the... It's up to you. Do you want him? I mean, he's got Grog on his back. Sure. What if Grog gets next to the stone and he, like, yeah. Yeah, wakes yeah. up? Sure, sure, yeah. So, yeah, Trinket's going to run up and just try to, like, you know, get next to the stone. 20. What's your speed? I uh, mean, I am a titanic healer and I am dead. Speed is... 40 feet. 40 feet. It says 20, 30, 35, 40. Gets him adjacent to the stone. As that happens, you watch the stone glow bright red <laughs> and shatter. As the stone shatters, Grog's eyes immediately shoot open. He bulges his muscles and all the teensy ropes that held him across Trinket's back snap off. Falls to the ground, pulls his axe from the side satchel that was attached to Trinket. And you're like, what's going on? You're kind of watching from inside the crystal this all happening. And it's like, it's like, ooh, like a little TV show. <laughs> oh shit, it's on. <laughs> Um, think you finish your turn, Bex? No, because I haven't gone. That was just my, that was just Trinket oh, that was moving. Saying, finish your turn. Finish oh, your turn. Oh, oh, shoot a couple arrows at him. Do it. Go I'm gonna use. I'm going to use a uh, bramble shot, though. Go for it. So as those arrows sink into its body, more of its kind of this black, thick, kind of syrupy-like blood slaps onto the ground. And where it hits, it seems to glow and then burn off. Whoa. As it's bleeding onto the stone, its blood itself seems to be evaporating upon impact each time. It's looking pretty hurt. Awesome, that finishes your go. Scanlon, what are you doing? Three things. One, I will heal Bertrand Bell. Cause I, just because I want to see this. <laughs> uh, I'll heal him. I'll, I'll heal him with, a, with an inspirational li limerick. <clears throat> uh, the cube never breaks, but it bends. And it loves being surrounded by friends. Look at all of these faces. It's a deck full of aces. All here to see how the tale ends. Aww. <laughs> all right. Then I will bonus action inspire Grog. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't nothing but a dumb Grog. <laughs> Drinking all the time. You ain't nothing but a dumb Grog. Fucking all the time. <laughs> well, you ain't got no self-control, but you are the best friend of mine. <laughs> and then Scanlan would like to take a bow and just walk away. <laughs> Which way? Out and away. <laughs> all right. Grog, it's your turn. I don't really know what's been going on, but this amazing movie has been playing and it's about time you all got here. Box Machina, fuck shit off! And I would like to rage! With my bonus action, I will smash the Titan Stone Knuckles together! Oh, shit. I forgot that many. <laughs> it's been a while, yeah. but that, that's fine. You're already pretty big. You get the idea. <laughs> that's right. Uh, I'll make the first attack against him with my blood axe. Go for it. Not reckless. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just give it a minute. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> Oh! 
motherfucker. Oh, if only Liev could have seen this. <laughs> That's three brutal criticals. Oh, oh no. Oh, uh, five plus 14 is 19. Oh, my God. No. D6. That's it. 19. Uh, 24. 24. Uh, 24 doubled is 48. Uh, that's mm -hmm. cocked. Uh, that's a two for 50, and that's 11 for 61. 61 Jeez. plus 66 points of damage. Okay. On one strike, all right. Next yep. attack. Next attack. Reckless. Sure, go for it. Natural 20! No! 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 That's fucking ridiculous. Look at that shit. Get some footage of that shit. Make-believe damage. 58, 77. Oh my god. 77 and 9 is 86. <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> As I watch, as I watch my comrades deal an incredible amount of damage to this, I pull out my great axe and I swing just below his kneecap, cutting him down to one. I see his face come low and I'm like, no one fucks with Vox Machina. <laughs> as you kind of jump up the, I mean, your, your forms, as big as it is, you're about half his size. After the first hit slams down, it kind of doubles over and grabs its chest, looks at you, its teeth clenching. Once pearly whites are now covered in black ichor. And as your axe swings up one more, with a single swoop, you watch as the head, and the winds just carry it away. 